cannibalizing, cannibalization. That's when you take parts off of one gun or rifle and you put it onto a different gun or rifle to make it work. I'm going to tell a quick story about this. When I was in the military, I was E4 promotable and I was, uh, I was in charge of the arms room. And one day, some soldiers had to go to the field. A few dozen soldiers had to go to the field. And one soldier came to uh, sign out his rifle and he didn't, his rifle was not equipped. It was not ready. And what I did to make him ready to so he can get his qualifications, so he could be deployable, is I, I cannibalized the weapon. That was my choice. I was uh I was in charge of the arms room. I was in charge of millions of dollars of equipment really. And uh I cannibalized the weapon. And it's like an underground thing, you're not supposed to really do it. But I made the choice to do it. One of my team leaders asked me to do it, one of my sergeants asked me to do it, so I did it. My first sergeant came at me. Like he, like a fucking tornado. He came at me and he he ripped me out of that room by his bare hands. Ripped me out of there, and he confronted me in front of uh, a dozen other ser- sergeants. And he told me, "Hey, what did you do?" And I told him, "Yeah, I cannibalized this weapon." And he said, "Did you cannibalize this weapon?" I said, "Yeah, I cannibalized this weapon." And he said, "Why did you do that?" And I said, "Because he needs to qualify. When he gets done qualifying." I'll put those parts from that rifle back on the other rifle, and then everything will be fine. It's not a big deal. And uh, before that all went down, my sergeant pulled me aside and said, Hey, I made the call. You didn't make the call. I'll take the heat from this. I'll I'll, I'll go confront him, and we'll deal with it. And I said, No, you're not going to deal with it. I'll deal with it. That's the type of man I am. I'll deal with this heat. I'm the fucking arms leader, and I, I you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm like the sergeant of arms. You think I'm scared of this guy? I'm not scared of this first sergeant. You know, let, let him fucking have it. And he went at me like you wouldn't believe, man. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't cry or nothing, man. I just looked at him. I said, yeah, I cannibalized that fucking weapon. You know, he caught me before they went to the range. And he bitched me out and he ripped my, he ripped me up pretty bad. He didn't smoke me. Smoking is when they make you do exercises and make you, to humiliate you is what smoking is. Anyways, he just bitched me out, basically. And I didn't get fluttered by it. I was like, okay, like, I did it because of X, Y, and Z. That's why I did this. So then he told me to go back to Mars room and start cleaning weapons, and that's what I did. And then he ripped me out of that fucking room again about five minutes later, and he said, uh, I need you to cannibalize a weapon, but I need your permission. And uh, I, I authorize it, and... He didn't apologize. That that would have been the leadership thing to do. He should have apologized to me. But he basically said, hey, I did the right thing. Because I said, okay, you want me to cannibalize this? You don't want me to cannibalize weapons? Fine, I'll I'll put it back. And then I, I did that. That's what he told me to do. That was my orders. I was ordered to do that. I follow orders. And I did that. And then five minutes later, he comes right back in my arms room and says, hey, uh, you know, Sergeant Knight, like I need you to um, put the weapons back the way you had them. And I, I basically, wait, basically he said, I need you to re cannibalize the weapons the way you had them so this guy can go qualify. And when you're done with that, when he's done with the range and he turns the weapon back into you and gives him, gives him his, uh, his receipt and all this, then, then I need you to fix him again. And I just said, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. No problem. I'll, I'll make it happen. No problem. But, uh, that's the type of leader I am.